हेलो एंड वेलकम टू एजियोर वाला यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर इन पार्ट 91 ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सर्टिफाइड एसोसिएट सीरीज सो फार वी हैव कंप्लीटेड 157 क्वेश्चंस इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इनटू क्वेश्चन नंबर 158 एंड क्वेश्चन 159 क्वेश्चन 158, यू हैव एन एजियोर सब्सक्रिप्शन दैट कंटेंस द रिसोर्स शोन इन द फॉलोइंग टेबल वी डू हैव वन स्टोरेज अकाउंट नेम्ड स्टोरेज वन वी डू हैव कंटेनर वन इज अ ब्लॉक कंटेनर इन द स्टोरेज अकाउंट एंड वी डू हैव वन टेबल वन इज स्टोरेज टेबल इन स्टोरेज अकाउंट you need to perform the task shown in the following table the first task task 1 create a new storage account task 2 upload an append blob to container 1 task 3 create a file share in storage 1 and task 4 add data to table 1 which task can you perform by using azure storage explorer Azure Storage Explorer is a stand alone app that makes it easy to work with the Azure storage data on the Windows, macOS and Linux. Using Azure Storage Explorer, we can manage the data in Azure storage account and that could be a file object or queue or table or blob in that storage account. But we cannot create a new storage account we can connect to storage account we can create the object inside the storage account therefore if we can see in the task 1 the first task which is the create a new storage account cannot be performed using the azure storage explorer the second task which is the upload an append blob to container 1 can be performed because we can manage the data in storage account the task 3 which is create a file share in storage 1 can be performed because that is also an activity with object in the storage account task 4 which is the add data to table 1 also can be performed using the azure storage explorer therefore option d is the correct answer task 2 task 3 and task 4 can be performed using azure storage explorer Let's move to next question. Question one hundred fifty-nine. You have an Azure subscription that contains one hundred virtual machines. You regularly create and delete virtual machines. You need to identify unattached disks that can be deleted. What should you do? To understand it better, let's go to Azure portal. we are in azure portal and we'll go to cost management and the first option in the question was cost analysis so we'll go to cost analysis cost analysis reports on and analyze cloud cost and review key insights to better understand the control spending patterns from resource and subscription hierarchy to products and services we are using each view breaks cost down to help you understand what you are spending and where it would uh, give us good insight of cost by the resource and resource types but it will not help us to identify which type of resource or which resource is not utilized properly next is azure advisor so we'll go to advisor and advisor configuration we will go to configuration and you can configure advisor to exclusively process recommendations for resources that matter to you the most so we can select or deselect if we do have multiple subscriptions from the configuration page next is advisor recommendation in cost management so we'll go to cost management
advise our recommendations we do not have any recommendation at the moment but we'll go to see list of cost recommendations and azure advisor helps you optimize and reduce your overall azure spend by identifying idle and underutilized resources therefore the advisor recommendation would be the correct answer for this question let's go back to question therefore option a the cost analysis would not be the correct answer because it will show the cost and resource part only but it will not show that if any resource is underutilized or not utilized option b from azure advisor modify advisor configuration the modification of advisor configuration will not help it will just allow us to select or deselect the subscription therefore it will not advise us about underutilized or not utilized resources option c from microsoft azure storage explorer view the account management properties microsoft storage explorer is a stand alone utility to explore and manage storage resources it won't be helpful to figure out which resources are underutilized or not utilized option d from azure cost management view advisor recommendation advisor recommendation identify the idle and underutilized resources and it provides a recommendations therefore option d is the correct answer i hope this video was informative for you please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification icon thank you for watching this video see you in next video